So we are going to start today talking about the three five, which is the martyr heretic and in quantum human design known as the explorer visionary leader. So as a visionary leader type, these are people that line five, again, that carries these creative, innovative, practical solutions in their profile. Uh, three, five is kind of known as a hands-on fix it type because they do have that trial and error energy about them. And through mm -hmm. that process helps, you know, them understand what their solutions are that they're bringing forth. Uh, this is a profile that needs to be stimulated they need new challenges they need new things to try and like fix <laughs> mm -hmm. find solutions for they don't really care for repetitive work in the sense that once they've figured out the solution or made it work better you know they've improved mm -hmm. it they don't really want to keep doing it they want to be challenged and move on to something else so some famous three fives are uh, mother Teresa. It's interesting because as I was looking at this list of people, it's like hmm. you can kind of see this uh, line five kind of heretic energy of people not always liking what they're doing. You mm -hmm. know, they are bringing new solutions, but people don't always like it and they do kind of project negatively onto them. So not necessarily Mother Teresa. <laughs> I don't really I, I don't really know why she is famous. Mother and Teresa. Well yeah um because she championed the poor the mm. in calcutta she literally took care of the people that nobody would take care of the okay. people that were seen as diseased poor worthless useless people didn't have any use for them but she's like they are just as valuable as any one of us and she was known for her for her love and her care and her joy and she she came up with creative ways to sustain the efforts that she made in caring for people. It was self-sustaining. She was able to run her mission, basically, for her whole life. So here's some other ones. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, Angelina Jolie, again, she does a lot of work okay. in the world, but a lot of people have very strong opinions about her. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. George Clooney, also someone who, ooh, we like George Clooney, but a lot of people don't want to hear what he has to say either. You know, he challenges mm. the status quo of how things are in the world. Uh, Shirley MacLaine, oh, I love Shirley MacLaine, and Julia Roberts is another one. And most famous of all, your brother, Ian. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyway, so these are innovative and influential people that can use their charm and their that again that seductive energy that draws people to them uh, mm -hmm. for the greater good. Uh, they're very reliable or resilient and adaptable people, uh, and again, they can create novel solutions, creative, practical, novel, innovative solutions through their own experimentation and what they've learned through trial and error. They figure out what works. And then their findings can leave a big impact on the world. So mm -hmm. being this like visionary leader type, they want to figure out how to upgrade life, upgrade everything for everyone. So, I mean, there's this energy of, yeah, I can make it better. I'm going to figure it out. How are we going to figure this out? Right. Mm -hmm. So is three, five profiles, very curious. They want to, again, get their hands in the clay, mess around, see what happens. But their curiosity isn't just for their own sake, as it is like compared with like that line three or line one, that one three profile, you know, it's mm -hmm. very much about their own process. This <clears throat> here, coupled with this upper trigram profile line is a universalizing energy, meaning it's meant to be shared. It's meant mm. to impact community uh, or not community but humanity really like for everyone but that but that five the what did you call mm -hmm. it the chant the strangers of consequence yes that one yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes they um definitely are here to impact people on a wide scale not necessarily those right close to them but the whole world they 
So a lot of their experimenting does come from this feeling that a lot of the line five part of them has that they have a mission, they have a purpose that they're here to help save the world in a way with what they know. Now, I don't mean like they're all like these grandiose thinkers, like I am the savior of the world, but there is this pull that they can figure things out that maybe other people haven't tried yet or seen yet. And Mm. that there is a way to get this done. Like I said, someone like Angelina Jolie, let's say, you know, she's doing a lot of work now for domestic abuse survivors and uh, for women, well, basically women and children. She's <clears throat> using her influence to help bring light to that and get people to pay attention and find uh, more creative solutions than what's currently available for, for women in these situations. And I think in one particular way where she's having influences the uh because she herself has adopted children that are of of color she's learned that a lot of women of color people of color in domestic situ- abuse situa- situations are often or assaults or even just not even domestic assaults but are not believed often because there's no physical evidence of Mm. of violence because their skin bruises differently it looks different it's often not seen and she's helped bring to light and helped develop in a way i don't know if she's part of the development but she's certainly helped bringing money towards the development of Mm -hmm. technology that can it's like a a light a sensor on the skin that can show on the darker colored skin where the bruising is and i haven't not specifically about angelina jolie but about like the care for people of color, medical care. Cause like I have seen about how doctors and nurses, when they're trained, most of the, the pictures and, and the medical books that they're learning from mm-hmm. are people with white skin because you can see like how mm-hmm. things react. And like, so then people of color have like this disparage in medical care because the symptoms and, and the visual cues can be presented so differently. Exactly. Yeah. And so she, is helping bring forth solutions through her own experience through her own lived experience with her own children and what she has seen so that's just kind of one example there's there's lots of things she also along like with mother Teresa, ties tries to direct attention to people who are less seen less visible marginalized anyways Mm -hmm. So line the uh, three five profile likes to figure out what works, and then, like I said, their findings could have a big impact on the world. Mm-hmm. And uh, they look at things in new and creative ways and find new solutions to problems. Now, a challenge for the three five. There's quite a few. Mm. <laughs> I don't. I shouldn't say it like that. <laughs> it is. A, it is a challenging profile. I mean, let's just be honest. Line fives in general do have. A little bit more of a challenge if you have a line five because there is so much projection onto them as people like i said not always seeing them for who they are but just seeing them as their potential hope or savior and so Mm -hmm. it's uh and and they want to help people you know they really do they deeply do want to help but they can become hesitant with who they help (laughs) because of getting burned really many times Mm -hmm. by people not appreciating what what solutions they offer so one one challenge they have is they really don't know if the solutions they have to offer really has legs until they try it for themselves they have to they have to get in it they have to try it Mm -hmm. Uh, and then people like i said can be really hard on them because if they haven't like done that experimentation and tried it out and see what works and what doesn't work. And they just kind of offer solutions just on what, you know, theory almost, but haven't actually experienced it. Like some say somebody who um, is a, like somebody who's just a, not just a, somebody who is possibly in the field of like therapy or something like that, of some kind of healing profession, if they themselves haven't gone through the process, if they are a three, five, if they're Mm -hmm. trying to offer solutions to people saying, oh, you should try this framework, but they haven't necessarily tried it themselves and gotten the results to know how it works for people Mm -hmm. before they offer it to people, (laughs) it could come back negatively on them in a very profound way. It could be like career Mm -hmm. ruining in a sense, if they were to try to put all that out there and then be, you know, people say, 
this person has no idea what they're talking about. Their solutions don't work. They haven't tried it because they, they haven't, they can't offer their perspective on that framework or that four step process or whatever it is, you know, they have to really do the work first. These are people that have to do Mm. the work first of what it is they have to offer. So that means they have to give themselves time and really that space, time, the grace to realize that they are going to have to go through the process themselves. They are going to have to take those steps themselves. They're going to have to figure it out before they ever offer it, even though they're going to be like really pulled to, to want to share it, but they can't necessarily mm-hmm. do it before they fully go through the process themselves. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I noticed with like your brother, Mm-hmm. I haven't seen a lot of this in him yet, although he does have lots of opinions. <laughs> that's just that's that's not his profile. That's his a lot of other things. But in learning about line five, and this is important with you know parenting and relationships and everything else, how why it's important to know some of these things about people because you can try to push things onto these people like oh you should because we might see something in them that we think they're good at right or you know that type of thing or that they can offer solutions to people based on what we're projecting onto them and so i'm all always interested to see how that works out in our personal relationship to see if i'm doing that <laughs> you know what i mean i think your dad mm-hmm. certainly projects onto him but I mean, it sounds, it sounds like I'm throwing him under the bus. I don't mean to, but he's just not as aware because, you know, they just don't really want to listen to me and what I have to say <laughs> about all this. <laughs> yeah. Again, which is also why your brother thinks all this is hooey because he doesn't pay attention to it and he hasn't tried it and he's not experimented with it. But if he ever does, if he will listen to me and try experimenting with some of this stuff, he might find has some value. <laughs> but. Yeah. It may not be for him. I may just be projecting that onto him. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So that is the three five. 